There's been a lot of talk about Google Gemini's new image generation model known as Nano Banana, and it's not your standard AI image generation model as it does some things under the hood essentially that are different from other AI image generation models. And the hype around Nano Banana is real. It's really, really good and it's fast. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you nine business use case ideas for using Nano Banana starting today. I've been to the first use case. You can access Nano Banana. By the way, it's AKA Nano Banana. This is Gemini 2.5 Flash's image model. And you can access it within the Gemini app. So just make sure you're on 2.5 Flash, go to tools and you'll see the little banana where it says create images. The other way you can access it, one other way you can access it is for free in Google AI Studio. So you just go down to, or in the upper left-hand corner, click on chat. You can either click try Nano Banana, depending on when you watch this and it might be there or might not. Or you can just go up into the model selector and you'll see Nano Banana right there. Make sure that you've selected that. And so I'm just gonna say, all right, let's try um, this prompt right here. So I wanna create a visual that represents my AI playbook community. And so I'm gonna say, illustrate a vibrant online community with diverse individuals connected by glowing lines, shared knowledge and celebrating successes. The focus should be on connection and growth. Include our community logo in the center. So I'm gonna give it our logo and I'm gonna upload it right there. By the way, if you're an online business owner and you're looking to leverage AI in your business so that you can streamline your business, simplify it, and increase profit in the process, I wanna invite you to join my AI Playbook community uh, and surround yourself with hundreds of amazing online entrepreneurs, all leveraging AI in their business, sharing use cases, getting help and support, et cetera. I'm in there multiple times a day, every day, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I'll link to it in the description below. We'd love to see you inside the community. All right, so let's just see what this gives us here. All right, in just under, just about 10 seconds, it's generated this image here. Um, it's a little bit bigger and it's not bad. Yeah, I actually kind of like it. So I could, I could totally edit this. I could make it less futuristic, if you will. But the thing that really stands out to me here with Nano Banana is that in the prompt right here, I didn't say anything about it being an AI community. It was in the logo, obviously, of the community. So it took that logo, took the context of the logo, made some assumptions, and then created the image accordingly based on that context. I think that really separates it from other AI image generation models and just super, super impressed. For use case number two, we're gonna create social media ad creative. And for this example here, I'm gonna say create a vibrant Instagram story ad for a project management app showing a team collaborating seamlessly. The style should be modern and illustrative, add the text teamwork, simplified at the top. Now, of course, I could add in uh, my brand colors. So I can say use my brand colors colon and brand, there they are. And then by the way, I also attached right down here, click the plus button, add from drive. I have the Instagram story ad uh, dimensions and best practices. So I've given it that context as well. Let's see what it comes up with. And again, just about 10 seconds says, here's a vibrant illustrative Instagram story ad for a project management app based on the request. And here it is, it's not bad. And it's in my brand colors. And again, it's taking the context of what I was giving it in terms of the project management tool, uh, collaborating seamlessly, the team. So I think it's done a really good job. I think this would be a really good, I mean, we'd customize it a bit more, but I really like this. And we just created an Instagram story ad in literally 10 seconds. For this next use case, we're gonna test it out to see how it does with the maintaining character consistency across multiple scenes, okay? I have no idea what it's gonna do with this here, but I've given it two different images of me and I've just said, generate a new images, image of this exact character. The character is now sitting on, in a futuristic coffee shop, drinking a latte, looking thoughtfully, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's see what it does. All right, and here's the image that it's created. And that took about five seconds. And I think it's pretty darn good. Uh, it's given me a few extra pounds there. But overall, I think this is a really good image. Oh, the, the coffee cup's pretty cool as well. Uh, it kept the shirt from one of my images. So let's see what we can do with putting this in the middle of Central Park. Now I'm gonna say put this character in the middle of Central Park in NYC. All right, and here's what it just generated. Uh, still got the coffee cup. Uh, I look really angry, but yeah, I mean, that's it. 
kept the consistency of the image really, really well. Um, yeah, I think it did a really good job with this. And so again, the character consistency, like I, I could also add to this. I could say, um, you know, put a carousel in the background over my right shoulder. Let's see what it does with that. All right, so it just put a carousel. It's in the back right corner of the image. It didn't put it over my right shoulder. It put it over my left shoulder, but... I mean, it's pretty, pretty darn cool. So if you sell physical products in your business, I mean, this would be really cool for, you know, placing your products in whatever landscapes or places that you want uh, to market your products. I mean, really, really cool. And it did it super fast and it's really high quality. All right, for this next use case, let's test it creating YouTube thumbnails. And what I really want to test with this is number one, I'm giving it an image of me. So I want it to include me in the image, but I'm also giving it the specific name of the video and also the dimensions of the thumbnail. So from what I've noticed here with, with uh, Nano Banana, it tends to do either square or more vertical. And so the dimensions are off, but let's see what it does with this. All right, and here's the image that it just created. It's actually not bad. Um, it followed the instructions except for the dimensions. So I wanna see if it will uh, make it landscape. 16 by nine. I wanna see if it can follow that because I actually kinda of like it. It's a little old school, but it's not bad. So it's telling me that it was in a 16 by nine landscape format. I downloaded the image and everything. It is not. So I'm just gonna tell it it's not 16 by nine landscape. Try again. Okay, so here's what it's just given me here. So clearly it's having some challenges with the dimensions because this is the one that I created before. Um, and it's telling me that it is 16 by nine. If I click on it, it is not 16 by nine. Um, but you know what it's doing with the image is pretty darn cool. All right, so what I decided to do is try it over in the Gemini app because I was in Google AI Studio. One would think that they'd be the same, but I tried it over here, same exact everything, and this is what it gave me. I think that the face is a little off, but it finally listened to the dimensions, and overall, I like it. For this next use case, we're gonna create a virtual meeting background so we can make branded backgrounds for our Zoom calls and webinars and so forth. And so the prompt I'm using here is create a professional virtual background for a webinar on financial planning. The background should be clean, modern office, blah, blah, blah. I've also given it my logo. And let's go ahead and click on the images and let's see what it does for us. And here's the image that it created. I did one revision on it because it didn't put the logo on the wall in, an, in a picture. So I just asked it to remove the picture and add the logo as if it's a modern sign on the wall. And here it is. So I think this is pretty cool. Would use this as a Zoom background or a webinar background. And I mean, hopefully the idea with this is just to give you a ton of ideas on what you could do with this. You can put yourself in a coffee shop. You can put yourself in Paris or wherever it is that you want to do, but uh, super easy with one simple prompt. For this next use case, we are going to do a logo concept visualization. Let's just say that you have an idea for a logo, whether it's for your business or for an offer that you have or a product or what have you, and you've sketched it out, okay? And we wanna take that sketch and give it to Nano Banana and have it turn it into an actual logo. So for this prompt here, I'm telling it, transform this hand-drawn sketch of a lion's head into a clean minimalist vector logo for a consulting firm. Use a color palette of navy blue and silver. And then I've just attached this sort of really quickly hand-drawn sketch of a lion's head. And let's see what it comes up with for a logo. All right, so here's a logo that I came up with and I think it's really good. Let's see what it can do with the, let's change the brand colors. So I'm gonna type in, use the following brand colors. And let's see what it does with that. I think this is really cool. Again, the concept here is if you have this idea for a logo or a product image or whatever it might be, and you just, sketch it out on the back of a napkin, for example, you can take a picture of it with your phone, upload it here and run through the exact same thing I just did. And it will create an actual image or a logo out of that. 
you know, really roughly drawn sketch, which I think is super, super cool with Nano Banana. All right, for this next use case, let's create some custom website icons. So let's just say that you're redesigning your website or maybe you're designing a website for a client and you wanna generate a full suite of unique on-brand icons for your website or your app or your client's website. So I've just said, create a set of five minimalist line art icons for a consulting website, a handshake, blah, blah, blah. And let's see what it comes up with. Okay, here's the handshaking one. Now in the Gemini app here, it can only create one image at a time. So I'm just gonna say, you choose because it's saying, which icon would you like me to generate next? You can choose from, I don't really care what it chooses next, as long as it creates the images. All right, here's the image icon for results. Not too bad, pretty basic, but that's actually what we're going for, right? For custom website icons. And then I would just continue through the five icons that I want. Again, the more specific that you are with the prompt, the the better. For this next use case, we're gonna use Nano Banana to visualize data uh, from text. So I'm gonna give it some percentages here, but you could upload a spreadsheet, for example, and ask it to visualize it in a line graph or a bar chart or whatever it might be. So I'm just gonna put in for the prompt here, create a simple clean pie chart visualization with a modern design. And I've given it percentages and what each each slice of the pie chart should look like. All right, and here's the pie chart in about six seconds. Um, looks pretty good. I don't know why events is sticking out a little bit from the from the side here, but overall it's clean. I like the little shadow that it put in here. So again, you could upload a Google sheet or a spreadsheet of numbers or even write them down on a Google doc, whatever it might be. And you can have Nano Banana visualize that data for you really, really quickly. For this next use case, we're gonna create a storyboard for video content, right? So Nano Banana is great for quickly creating visual storyboards for a script, for example, to plan out a video ad or an explainer video or a social media short, for example. So in the prompt here, I'm gonna tell it that I want it to create a, a three panel storyboard for an explainer video. And all panels must feature the same consistent character. And so again, I'm gonna be testing the consistency of the character it uses, but this is super helpful when we are putting together a video, for example, or looking to brainstorm, you know, shorts or what have you. All right, and here's what it has given us. Let's take a look here. So I think it's pretty cool, actually. So I like it because again, it created the, and it kept the consistency of the character throughout each of the panels. And it just, it tells a story in and of itself here. I really like it. I really like what it did here. All right, so there you have it. There's nine really cool use cases, I think, of Gemini's Nano Banana. And again, these are just business use cases. Think about all the other use cases and things that you can do with it when you're stepping outside of business and all the fun that you can have with it there. Now, there's a few different things that really stand out for me when using Nano Banana. Number one is the contextual understanding. So if you remember back to the first use case we did where all I did was I give it a logo and I asked it to create an image that signifies my community. I didn't say anything about the community, but the logo itself did does mention AI because of the AI playbook or it created context from the image I gave it to create the overall image. Super, super impressive. The other cool thing I'm really impressed with when it comes to this image model is the ability to create consistent characters in multiple images and scenes. So again, we're just scratching the surface here and hopefully this gets the creative juices flowing and shows you what's possible for your business using this free image generation tool that you can find here in Gemini or Google's AI studio. So as always, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you're an online business owner, again, and you're looking to leverage AI in your business so that you can streamline your business, become more efficient and profitable in the process, I want to invite you to join us inside my AI playbook community. I'll link to it in the description below and we'll see you in the next video.